and I welcome you back to my weight loss surgery channel. I had the RNY gastric bypass surgery on June 25th, 2018. So this marks my 49 week post-op update. I started off my high weight at 238 pounds. I'm five foot six, I'm 39 years old. Last week I came to you and I weighed 142, which is within my maintenance range. My maintenance range is 138 to 145, that's a seven pound range. And if I'm correct, I think I've come to you the last four weeks and weighed 142. So kind of hanging out right there in the middle. Let's jump on the scale and see where I am today. As you can see, I'm 141 pounds. I've had a really, really positive week. Mentally, everything has shifted um, and raised, l unlike last week when I came to you and I told you I was gonna work on my dopamine levels and boosting them and raising them. And let me tell you, everything's worked. I'm feeling really, really good this week. So food-wise, definitely focused on all of those great foods that help boost your dopamine levels naturally. And I talked about all different ways to boost dopamine in my last week's update, but some again, some of those foods are fish, chicken, avocado, bananas, nuts, specifically almonds, beans, eggs and each time I needed a snack or even incorporating it into my breakfast lunch and dinners I made sure that I had at least one two if not three of those types of foods in my meals also really really worked on accountability accountability always helps me and so I was running with my friends and I was running with Carol my friend and I said you know what um, she was kind of talking about how she needs a little accountability herself and Carol runs way more mileage than I do during the week and I average about 50 right around 50 miles per week running and she's you know upwards 75 if not more miles per week and she can eat anything and she's got you know like a stomach of steel for the most part where she can just eat and eat and eat and so she often comments specifically when we were on our Vermont marathon trip with our friend Vanessa she was like I feel like such a piggy around you and Vanessa because you guys eat so healthy and so you know low carb and keto and everything and she's like I'm such a pig but anyway she's been having some trouble herself with just kind of her gut her gut health and ha being able to go to the bathroom and so I said you know what? why don't we be accountable for a few days with each other and see what happens and so we both had gone to the store separately and just bought a ton of fruit and I think that really helped with me reaching for fruits this week instead of refined sugars and I'll get into that in just a moment but having that accountability buddy was incredibly helpful for me this week and basically where we just kind of text our meals and you've heard me talk about this before I've done this with several of you guys several of you weight loss surgery youtubers it's it's such a great support and encouragement and motivation when you've got an accountability buddy chances are you already know what you need to do to get in shape eat right sweat often drink enough water and get enough sleep whether you're using an app like my fitness pal or you have a real life accountability buddy having that accountability helps give you that extra oomph of encouragement to meet your goals and can swoop in and save the day so we text each other our meals throughout the day and it was great and for her it really helped by using fruits to go to the bathroom and so she's she's had an amazing week herself and for me it's just really you know me focusing on these foods that help boost your dopamine levels it's just really really mentally been mentally been really really good and positive for me 
So what I did is I focused on those foods specifically that raised dopamine levels, but also traded all my refined sugars for fruits. And so when I had that craving for something sweet, I reached for fruits. And it's uh, interesting, you know, after weight loss surgery, specifically the RNY gastric bypass, where you do have dumping syndrome, most of us do have it. And when the refined sugars move pretty quickly through your pouch, you can feel lousy and crappy and just ill. And fruits can do that too. I think with large quantity consumed, but you know, fruits just fill you up faster. I feel like kind of like vegetables or especially raw vegetables, they just kind of fill that void in your pouch and they do fill you up. So refined sugar comes from cane or sugar beets, which are processed to extract the sugar. And it's typically found as sucrose, which is the combination of glucose and fructose. We use white and brown sugars to sweeten cakes and coffees and cookies and cereal. And even we put on top of our fruit. Food manufacturers add chemically produced sugar, typically high fructo fructose corn syrup to foods and beverages. Because refined sugar is digested quickly, you don't feel full after you're done eating, no matter how many calories are consumed. Also, those are the sugars that can dump easily into your intestine, making you feel ill. So natural sugar, on the other hand, like sugars that comes from fruit, which are a mix of sucrose, fructose, and glucose, the fiber in the fruit metabolizes slowly as fruit in the gut expands and makes you feel full. And also a really great benefit from these natural sugars, from the fiber and the nutrients in them, they help everything move, 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 move quickly. And so that has been something interesting for me and I know I, I've been talking about that a lot lately on my videos, but I've been going to the bathroom and not only I think it's from, and I'm talking about like number two, it's just like everything's moving, constantly moving. I feel good. I feel like I'm cleansed out all the, all the time and I feel healthy. And so this fiber and fruit helps everything move. But also I've learned recently that not only fiber can make things move quickly, but a fast and high metabolism and so i found that really fascinating that basically people with a high metabolism poop a lot <laughs> and i loved reading that because i do know that with all of my running i think i have totally increased my, my, my metabolism so great great perk and great benefit Fitness wise, my runs have been feeling really, really good this week. I feel strong. I don't have any kind of aches or pains or injuries or nags. So feeling, feeling really good running wise. Uh, we had our Tuesday speed run and we did that at about a nine minute, eight second pace. So pushing, pushing, pushing. And weather has been a little better this week. I know several of you have reached out to me in regards to the tornadoes in the Kansas City area. And I so appreciate your thoughtfulness just and concern checking in. We were fortunately very safe. I know there's some cities that were not so safe close to us and we we are safe we have been good we had the sirens go off we had to go to the basement and you know do the whole drill and everything and you know those tornadoes are pretty scary because they're moving super fast but anyway we have been safe with some of the rain that i think we've had we've had a little bit more cooler temperatures come in throughout the day in kansas city it has been very warm this week uh probably 70s 80s some humidity but in the early mornings when we're running it's been it's been welcoming to have high 50s low 60s again so it's been perfect perfect to have that back compared to the week before where it's just like ah, we were in the 70s when we were running i was so yeah excited. i know i should be the one i should have been the one taking the pictures and yeah. <laughs> Let's
let's talk dating real quick. No doubt that weight loss can give your single life a boost. You feel better, you're healthier, you look better, and simply you're just sexually more attractive. After my divorce a couple years ago, I have taken some time to heal, to really focus on me, and also to focus on my health. And I have done a lot of that in this past year with my weight loss surgery and focusing on my health. I am in a really good place right now, just mentally and physically, and I am very independent. I love my me time, I love my free time, and throughout the week I get into a very steady routine and I love it. And on the weekends, you know, that is when I crave a little bit of male companionship from time to time. But for the most part, I'm great. I'm good just being being by myself. And especially when I hear some of my friends talk about their relationship problems. And you know, marriage, it's gonna be up and down the entire time. But for me, um, I just, I just really like where I am in life right now. So anyway, I did get on the Bumble app and I had a lunch date last week. And I think with dating, it's really important that if you start talking online through an app, you need to set up a date very quickly after that. I learned that right after my divorce, I went a little crazy and I was dating a lot of guys at that time. And I only did that for a short, short period before I realized, girl, you need to heal. <laughs> you need to stop this and you need to heal yourself. But anyway, I learned from back then that you should not be messaging someone for a long period of time because everybody can hide behind a phone. They can hide behind a screen and they can text and message and they're a totally, you know, you can really think through your answers and your questions and your thoughts and everything. And there is nothing that compares to being in person, live, like 3D. And often some of those pictures lie. I'm telling you, I'm here to tell you some of those pictures lie. So I started talking to this guy, uh, a little bit older than me, and uh, we set up a quick lunch and lunches and coffees are always very safe because you especially during the work week because you have an excuse and you need to say I need to get back to the office. So anyway, we met at a restaurant. I got there a little early. I saw him approaching the restaurant and he was kind of, you know, reading the sign on the restaurant and I knew very quickly that's him. I could tell from the picture, yes, that's him, but it's not him. Not the way that I had envisioned him. I thought he was a bigger guy and he comes in and um, I gave him a quick hug and he was like, oh, you're a hugger. And I knew, I knew within the first minute there's no chemistry here. He was such a nice guy, such a nice guy, but he, you know, he had those khakis like pulled up really high and his polo tucked in and we had great conversation, you know, dating. You're going to have good conversation because you have a lifetime, your whole story to share and vice versa. And so there was plenty to talk about. Sweet, sweet man, but he was old. He wasn't that old, but just where he was in his mentally and everything, he was too old for me. So anyway, I was able to kind of get out of that and told my coworkers from here forward, because it, it, it was too long of a lunch. I just said, from here forward, you guys need to do a check-in on me. Like 20 minutes in, you better call me and do a check-in because I need an out. <laughs> I need an out if this is gonna continue to happen. So went on another app, actually found someone else that really caught my eye and I am going on date number three tonight. So I'm really excited, uh, a lot of chemistry. I don't think he's gonna be a long-term thing at all um, because of some of the dynamics that he's going through, but uh, very tall, dark, and handsome. Talking about six foot eight played basketball and 
I'm excited. I'm really excited to go on date number three tonight with him. So a lot of lot of chemistry and things in common. It'll be fun. I'm not in a place dating wise to share my weight loss surgery experience at this point. I figured that if I meet somebody that I get really deep with, then at some point I can I will certainly share my experience with it. However, I'm totally okay right now sharing that, you know, I, I run, I do some extreme running and I struggle with my weight. I don't mind sharing that uh, and just saying that I have been, you know, up and down with my weight and that it, it, that food is a struggle for me, but I'm able to maintain by making, you know, healthy food choices and, and just keeping my fitness level up. I think I'll just know when the time is right, when I can share. For now, I am just enjoying having a little summer fun. Not everyone will understand your journey, and that's fine. It's not their journey to understand. It's yours. Thank you.